What if I begin my talk by first asking all of you a question? By showing by hands how many of you can be proud of a country, fierce nationalist, and part of a nation that you were not born in, that you never lived in, but is, is this, would that be possible? I would say yes, it is possible. Let me share my story, my personal story and my personal journey that happened, spans continents, cultures, and generations. It's a story of growing up in the United States while nurturing an unbreakable bond with country that I was not born in, I never lived in, steep a country that's steeped in history and tradition, a country within the former Soviet Union, a country called Azerbaijan. My story, like many of yours, is rooted in important moment in history. First Azerbaijani Republic was faced with challenges in 1920 that would change the course of my family's journey. It was during that time my grandfather made a fateful decision to immigrate to Turkey. It was there that my mother was born in, and it was there that our family story began to unfold. It's a story of resilience, of starting a new life in a land far from our ancestral home and holding to our Azerbaijani identity with unwavering pride. My grandfather endlessly talked about Azerbaijan and his memories that changed before his eyes. He always told us, do not settle down anywhere. We have a beautiful country. One day we will all go back and live there. He talked about the struggles to achieve a nationhood and his part in it. He talked about the overwhelming odds that the Azerbaijani people achieved democratic republic. He talked about the mountain mists, clear lakes, the wild lives, the beauty of the land that changed before his eyes. He had he lived with Azerbaijan in his mind and he died with the word Azerbaijan. <laughs> this is difficult for me, but <laughs> and um, he struggled and he died with Azerbaijan in his uh, mouth, in his words. This persistence we all believed in, in in America, this persistence we grew up with. And no matter where we lived, this was the mission we lived by. And so, may, so my story begins in 1963, when my widowed mother me and my two brothers, along with my grandfather and my two uncles, immigrated to the United States. It was a journey filled with hope and uncertainty, leaving behind the familiarity of our homeland of a, for a new beginnings. My mother here came to America with a dream, a dream to provide her children with broader opportunities. My mother worked hard, and day in, day out, striving to make that dream a reality. She was determined, and nothing was going to stop in her way. She went to school and learned English. She went and received her driver's license, and she went to became an American citizen. My mother came to America with little in terms of financial assets but she had big hopes and aspirations of realizing the great American dream for us. My brothers and I had good fortune to be reared and educated in America, where we had the opportunity to build ourselves a successful and exciting careers. I, stu I studied finance. My eldest brother studied and became a chemist and worked at a very notable institution. My other brother became a very successful business owner where he employed over 50 people. 
He also served in the US Navy and fought in Vietnam. He felt serving in the military was a civic duty. We were also fortunate enough to gather around an organization established in 1957 by the first wave of immigrants, Azerbaijan Society of America, the first cultural organization to represent Azerbaijani diaspora, where we preserved and share our rich culture, heritage with Americans. Founders collected money among themselves and purchased the community center for us, for the children and the grandchildren who were growing up in the United States to know about their homeland. I am one of those people who grew up under this organization. In this community center, we learned Azerbaijan's national anthem. We knew Azerbaijan's history and proud to always call, our, call ourselves Americans with Azerbaijani heritage. Despite having never seen Azerbaijan and being thousands of miles away, our hearts and souls remained firmly rooted in our Azerbaijani heritage. It was a heritage that we cherished nurtured and preserved, even on American soil. We gathered around our dinner table, savoring the flavors of Azerbaijani cuisine, sharing stories of our ancestors, and speaking our native language, ensuring that our culture remained an integral part of our lives. My uncles always send us to school with the flag of Azerbaijan and a map of Azerbaijan. When our teachers told us there is no country called Azerbaijan on the world map, we took out the map and told them, you are wrong, there is Azerbaijan. And America gave us that freedom to keep Azerbaijan alive. And uh, when this flag we carried was not allowed in the Soviet Union. As I stand you before of you today, I am reminded that our family's journey is a small version of the broader Azerbaijani experience. A journey marked with disruption, determination, and unbreakable bond with our homeland instilling in us a deep appreciation for the values of family, culture, and heritage. As I grew older, I felt a growing sense of responsibility to not only preserve our heritage, but also to promote it. I realized that I could play an important role in sharing the beauty of Azerbaijani culture with those around me. I became an advocate a cultural ambassador, if you will. Working hard to introduce my American friends to the richness of Azerbaijani traditions. Through dance, music, and storytelling, I painted a vibrant picture of a land they have never seen. But this love and attachment to Azerbaijan didn't come out of thin air. It came pro from a profound understanding of history a history that is both heartwarming and heart-wrenching. It's a historic history that speaks of resilience, of a people who have faced hard times, yet have always emerged stronger and more determined. In my family, I am proud to carry the legacy of my grandfather, Naushe Samanlı, who served as the Minister of Intelligence during the Azerbaijan Democratic Republic. His dedication to the country, his unwavering commitment to the cause of freedom has left them indelible mark on our family. His story is a reminder of the sacrifices made by generations before us to ensure that the flame of Azerbaijani and identity always continue to burn brightly. I am reminded of the countless young Azerbaijanis who, like me, grow up in from, from a land far away from their ancestors. It's our duty to instill that same sense of pride, love, and loyalty in the heart of the next generation. We must ensure 
that they too understand the value of their heritage and the significance of their cultural roots. In a world that often seems divided, where borders can sometimes feel like difficult barriers, my story serves as a testament to the power of love, loyalty, and devotion. It's a reminder that our identities are not bound by ge geography, but the enduring connections we forge with our heritage, with our families, and with our culture. So, as I reflect on my journey, I am filled with gratitude for the opportunities that the United States has provided for a rich tapestry of experiences that have shaped my life. And I am equally grateful for the love and pride I carry for a country that I may not have been born in, but a country that lives in my heart and my soul. I also carry a message to the young Azerbaijanis. You are the heirs of a rich and storied heritage, one that carries the weight of history and the resilience of generations. In your veins flow the spirit of a people who have faced adversity with unwavering courage and emerged stronger each time. In a world that often seems divided by borders, ideologies, and differences, I urge you to be the bridge builders, the peacemakers, and ambassadors of understanding. Embrace diversity, for it is the tapestry of cultures that we found ourselves, our strength, and our shared humanity. Hold on to your roots. Cherish your language and celebrate your traditions. Your identity is a source of pride and a beacon of light in a world that sometimes seeks to homogenize. Be the storytellers, the artists, and the cultural ambassadors who share the beauty of Azerbaijan with the world. As you navigate the challenges of today, be it in education, careers, or personal lives, know that your journey is a testament to the dreams and sacrifices of those who came before you. Honor their legacy by reaching for the stars, by pursuing your passions, and making a positive impact in the world. Finally, in a world that sometimes feels uncertain, hold fast to the values of love, loyalty and devotion that define you. Let these values be your compass, guiding you towards the future of hope and prosperity. I want you to know that you are not alone in this journey. You have a community that supports you, a heritage that inspires you, and the potential to shape you a brighter future for yourselves and for Azerbaijan. Embrace this moment, seize every opportunity, and carry the torch of, torch of your identity with pride and purpose. Thank you. <laughs>